Hello YouTube and welcome to Curious Me channel. This is Shabazz Khan and in this screencast I'm going to tell you about components in Angular 2. So what are components in Angular 2? <coughs> components in Angular 2 can be thought of as building blocks of a website. For example, if in a web, if in a website I have a navigation, sorry, a menu a footer and a body so I'll divide that website into three components the first component will be my menu second component will be my body and the third component will be my footer so when we divide a website in three components then managing that website becomes very easier so uh, without wasting any time let's just start making our component so this is the default component that we have that the angular quick start provides and by the way if you don't know how to set this visual studio code and angular 2 up please watch my previous video or click click the link down below <coughs> so uh, let's uh, just create our component what our very first component uh, cr let's create a file name it header dot component dot ts so this will create a ts file and I'm gonna import if you know a little bit of any kind of programming I think you'll know what import does it just brings all the contents from a package for example from and I'm gonna tell that I want some package from angular code and what and what is that package I'm gonna hit con I'm gonna hit control shift and this will give me a list I'm gonna type component and this will component and then I'm gonna write the metadata component this is wrong okay this is fine now okay so after that I'm gonna say selector and my header selector I'll select header that's it and the template the template will be mm, header 2 and I'm gonna say this is my header close the is done now see what is happening here is I am creating a component which is having a selector a template and a style so what this will do is that whenever angular 2 will find this header tag it will replace that header tag inside it will place all the template code inside that header tag and the style will be the style which we define here that is h2 and I'll I'm <coughs> going to color that as uh, green okay so our metadata is complete I'm gonna say export class um, header that's it done so this is now we have created our very own component and whenever we create a component we go to app module.ts and we just we just import that component we say that hey I have created this component please import it for every other component that I might create I will use this component also so I'm gonna just gonna say okay it is saying that header dot component h uh, 
new When you hit Control Shift, and it will just read whatever the class that you have exported in that component header. So now I have told Angular 2 that whenever you find, sorry, declare import this component for every other component that I'll create. Okay, so let's go to App Component and replace this with tilde so that we can use multi-line <coughs> statement okay tab I'm gonna use my header I'm gonna say loading and I'm gonna say header and that's it I think it should work mm. Let's just revise all these things. Yes, this is this, this. Okay, let's just see what happens here. Okay, so here we can see it says this is my header. But so what it did is it replaced this with. Okay, it is still missing something. So this tag is replaced by this template and the style is what style we have defined here. So this is a very basic component in Angular 2 and there are many things that you can create using it. For example, if I want instead of this is my header, I could have created a simple menu and that entire menu will span uh, here and I could have used it as a component for every other page. So that will save a lot of time for me, right? In a similar way, we can create a footer and a body component. So I guess this is it. And I think there is an issue. Okay, this should also display this part, but it is not. Let's see why. Why, why, why? Okay, everything is fine. Why is it doing like this? It's not good, good, it's not good. Okay, see, wow, this is the issue. Yeah, so let us inspect element and see what is happening. So in index.html page, right, index.html, we have called the component app.component, okay? Oh, just a minute, I'm getting a call. Okay, so in index.html, we are calling my app, which my app selector which is an app dot component ts see selector my app so what it is doing is it is replacing the my app selector with all which with all the contents inside the template so here we can see that my app inside my app we are we have the template content one is my first angular app and the other is header so what it does is when it when it finds a header selector what it does is it goes <coughs> since we have defined the header selector in app module so it knows that there is a header selector so it goes 
and finds a header selector and replaces the template not replaces places the template that we have defined inside that selector with the style that we have defined for that component okay so in a very simple manner it's it just displays this is my header this is my first angular app and if I create another sorry new file and I'm gonna name it footer dot component dot ts everything will be same here I will just copy this footer component dot ts I'm gonna say control V uh, okay now this I'm gonna say footer this is my footer and the color will be red and I uh, will say export class footer simple as that so I will go to module.ts and then again I'm, I will say that import something from Please pardon my typing. Actually, I just woke up. <laughs> okay. Footer dot component. So hit Control Shift and it will display all the exported class of this component. Okay. So it showed me footer. I imported it, and I'm gonna say footer also. And I'm gonna say control S to save it. I will go to com app.component. I have the used header component. Now use the mm, footer component also. I will say loading in case if it gets slow. Let's just see what happens. Okay, it throws an error. Okay, let's see. It happens time to time and you have to debug it. It says undefined declared by app module. What? Okay, so it is working. Actually, I fixed it. I just uh, named component and I just remade the component. It is just a naming com convention, footer.component.ts. It's a naming convention. Nothing to worry about. You can name it whatever you want, okay? I've just named it footer.component.ts. And once again, I rewrote the code and I did the same thing, appmodule.ts. I imported that footer. And then again, app component, sorry, appmodule.ts. I've imported that footer. And in appcomponent.ts, I have used the footer. So what it would what it did was it replaced this my app selector sorry it placed all the template content inside my app selector and for the header selector inside the header selector it placed all the content that I have put inside header component ts and similarly it placed all the footer content template in, inside footer content footer selector footer component ts this template this template was placed inside this selector wherever it will find this selector it would place this template so in app component we got this this so when we inspect element and see body we will see my app and inside my app we have a header which is replaced as you can see the header select inside header selector we will find the template which we define and inside footers we will find the footer which we define so this is simple component for you guys you uh, you can try placing this is my uh, replacing this is my header with a menu and this is my footer with a footer and this is my uh, first angular app with a body which you like so thank you for watching curious me and hopefully next tutorial i'll teach you how to import no how to uh, import template from url and styles from URL. Thank you for watching this video and please, please, please subscribe and like my video. Thank you.